This is why always <laughs> using the share button to share Google Docs or slides is not the best option and what to do about it. Welcome back, I am Mrs. P. Tarleton. Like many, I used to go straight to the share button when I wanted to share my docs and slides. Yet, this is not always the best option. Using the share button is best when you want to collaborate on a Google Doc or slide. That way you can allow others to view, comment, or edit your doc or slide. When you share this way, the receiver of the shared doc will see all the features, options, and controls of a Google Doc or slide. For all the other times when you are not wanting to collaborate on a Google Doc or a slide, the most powerful way to share is by publishing. So let's take a look at how to publish and all the benefits of publishing a Google Doc or slide presentation. So open up a new Google Doc or slide. For this instance, I'm gonna use a template. Try the student certificate. It's already completed for me. Most often we go here. We will share and then we would change this to anyone with the link can view, comment, or edit. So instead of using the share button, we're going to go to file, share. Here, this is your share button, but we're going to go to publish to the web. There are so many benefits to publishing to the web. It's going to give you a link that's going to take the viewer back to the presentation but the viewer won't have editing, commenting rights, any of that. They won't see all of the options for Google Slides. So you can choose to have your slide presentation to start as soon as it's open. You can restart the slideshow after the last slide so it will loop. You can also embed, which I'll show you in just a moment. So once you click publish, it's gonna ask you if that's okay, you say yes. It's gonna give you a link. Using my keyboard shortcuts, I press Control and C or Command C if you're on a Mac to copy that link. Now that we've got the link copied, we can email that link or attach it anywhere and watch the magic that happens. So I'm gonna paste it in a new browser. Notice this is what the person will see if you email it to them or wherever you share it. Notice there's no Google slide options, nothing like that. You may also choose to share it with Google Classroom. So like for me at work, I have to upload my lesson plans and all those things. And I'm gonna show you why publishing to the web is the best option. So here in Google Classroom, I've been requested to upload the certificate. I can go here, add or create, choose link, click on the link. Control V will paste my link, add the link, and the student certificate is there. Now the best part of this is that you haven't lost control. Even when you turn it in, you don't lose control of your original document. Let me show you something else. Going back to my original document, now I've emailed the link and they've opened it in another tab. And then I've posted it also to Google Classroom. If I change the name in my document, you can tell I'm in my original document because I have all the Google Slides options. Now go over to certificate, refresh that page. It automatically updates even though I've emailed this link to somebody else. Now let's go ahead and check out Google Classroom because remember I submitted that assignment in Google Classroom. So here is my assignment. I'm not gonna unsubmit, I'm just gonna open it up and see. Notice it changed the name there as well. This is such a huge benefit because when you submit something into Google Classroom, even if your students submit something and they realize later they need to make an edit, all their edits, all their changes will show up on their submitted document. Going back to my original certificate, remember there was an option to embed. So going back, publish to the web. If you choose to embed, the same thing will happen. So click on that link, control C. You've got a portfolio that you have and you've linked your project over there and you make changes it's automatically going to update your project as well. Click over here on the right side where it says embed. Control V will- Go! Oh, no, can't do that. First, you have to be in embed code section. Control V will embed. 
And notice your document shows up here as well now, your Google Slide. And the cool thing about that is it will update here as well. Now let's check it out. You can always tell I'm back at my Google Doc because I have all these features where if it was using the link, it would not. Or if you embedded it, again, it would not have all those Google Slide features. Changing the name again, going over to the certificate, refreshing it, and it automatically changes here as well. And let's check our embed code. Did it work? And there it is. Notice it's already there. It updates everywhere you've shared that link or embed code. So you don't have to remember. Where did you share it? Who do you have to let know that you've made changes? If you're using Google Docs, the process is exactly the same. File, share. The first one is your share button like we often use. And here is publish to the web. Everything else is exactly the same. Click publish. OK. It will give you the link or click here for the embed code. Straight from here, you could also just share it email, Facebook, or Twitter. I hope that's helped you out, saved you time. If this will help somebody else, please make sure to share this video. Also be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.